Today we'll be doing a quick video communicating focus stacking in 360 product photography. And before we dive into that, I'm just going to give a quick rundown of our focus stacking tool because uh, it's very similar to transition that uh, into obviously 360 product photography. So you're going to see there's a couple different options when you right click on the snap button, provided you have the focus stacking plugin for the Shutterstream software. Let's just capture one image first and foremost here, just using the standard capture method. And what I'm going to do here is I want to go ahead and this is my manual focus and I'm just actually viewing that up close and I'm just going to choose a, um, obviously I'm going to just try to find a point where my object is in focus. And the other thing that we can see that's pretty dark there so let me just quickly change my shutter speed and let's just take a quick capture. Alright, so that's typically how an image would look without focus stacking. You can see here, uh, again, when shooting with a macro lens, it is a very shallow depth of field. By the time we get to about, uh, oh, probably uh, maybe about an eighth of an inch, we're starting to lose focus. Um, <clears throat> so what we're going to want to do in this case is capture a series of images at different focal points, then stack them over top of each other. So I'm going to enable my live view again, go up into the top right-hand corner into the options area, and I'm going to select focus stacking. That's going to pop up this window here. And what you want to do is you want to set the front focal point. So right now we have, as we can see, it's in focus here. And let me just zoom in and show you. That will be focal point one. Now what we want to do is go to the back of the ring. And again, I'm choosing, I just chose that two arrow button. And let me just move it a finer increment using the single arrow button. And we're going to find our kind of back focal point and that will be focal point two. So I'm just going to hit set focus point two. And then what I want to do here now that I've set my focal points is I can choose the number of frames to capture. So I'm going to do four frames from the front to the back. And I'm going to choose, there's a lot of different other um, options inside of here. I won't dive into this stuff too much because that would be a very long video. So I'm just going to hit start focus stacking and that's going to automate my process. It will move the camera back to the first focal point capture then it's going to adjust the focal point going towards the back of the ring, capture the second frame. And as you can see, as these images are being captured, they're being uploaded into the thumbnail gallery. These images will be discarded per the option that I chose. And it's just going to take the entire set of images and put them into obviously a single individual frame. So focus stacking complete. Now we can see that image. And let me just take these two images inside of our editing area real quick. And I'm just going to do a little crop here just so we can better compare both images. I'm just going to hit apply to all. So there we can see image one that was not stacked and image two. A much more crisp in focus from front to back. Now to transition this into our 360 shooting, I'm just going to delete both of these images. I can re-enable my live view and what I'm going to do is in my 360, what I want to do is choose the number of frames. So I'm going to say, let's capture, let's say 36 frames per 360 rotation. Um, I can choose how fast or slow I want my turntable to spin, the direction of the, um, of the turntable. I could also do a pre-rotate right here just to pre-rotate to ensure my object is in, is in the center of the turntable. Um, but I'll just hit start again for the purpose of this demo just to kind of speed things up. Or pardon me, start with focus stacking. Now that's going to walk through the exact same process, but instead of just at a single frame, it's going to work with the turntable and capture a total of 36 frames. That would be one capture every 10 degrees. All right, so we've completed our 360 image set. One thing that I probably could have done beforehand was uh, crop the images, uh, but nonetheless, we can do that in post-production. I'm gonna select my set of 36 frames and enter into the editing area. Now inside of the editing area, we've got some good tools. There's an image overlay tool. which will overlay our set of images over top of each other. So we're going to use this and we can see kind of there's a transparent uh, overlay of all images. Now I'm going to go ahead and crop based off this. So I want to just kind of take a rough idea here and probably crop to about right here. 
I will hit apply to all and in a batch process it will crop everything. And my next step will be to clean up these backgrounds here. So I'm going to use my white point tool and just select kind of a darker pixel here. You can see that will adjust the background to a white color. And I'm going to also just adjust my uh, darks and midtones here just to kind of make it pop as well as add some sharpness here. And then again I can hit apply to all and in a batch process this will be applied to the 36 images. Now that we've done our batch editing, we're ready for the output. I'm just going to rename this. We'll call it uh, Silver Ring. I'll do some batch resizing. Maybe I want everything at, let's say, 1500 pixels, and I will save to whatever folder I'd specified. And now we're ready to compose our 360 image set. I will open up the 360 view creator software and I'll grab all 36 of my frames and simply drag, pardon me, let me batch select all these, drag and drop. And there we can go and view our 360 product view. Again, everything's entirely in focus from front to back. We do have features like deep zoom on these where we can go and inspect. Uh, these are completely customizable. You can output locally and host on your own server or upload directly to our server. If you have any questions, please let us know. We're here for you. Thank you.